Hi, I'm Wendy. Welcome to Baby On Board. In this video, we will discuss weaning from the breast and getting baby to take a bottle. You may have decided to wean from the breast because you have had enough or need to go back to work. Other reasons include needing to go on some medication. Whatever the reason, it may not be absolutely necessary to wean. If you are going back to work, many mothers will give a morning feed and then one when they get home. If you have decided that that is not going to work for you, and if baby is under 12 months, you will have to offer formula for the missed feed. It is recommended to wean slowly, as then you are less likely to get mastitis or blocked ducts. Start with a feed that baby is least interested in. This is generally an afternoon feed. One has to be consistent with no longer offering that feed and substituting formula. And then by three days or so, your breast should feel more comfortable at that time and then you can drop a feed at the opposite time of day, say mid-morning. You continue with this process, dropping a feed every three days until you are no longer breastfeeding. This generally takes around two weeks. Wear a well-fitting bra. Sports bras can be good as they have no seams or wires. If your breasts become engorged, then express for comfort, but not completely, as if you do, you will continue to make milk. What actually makes your milk supply dry up is the pressure in your breasts, which gives your body the message that baby is no longer emptying the breasts. If you are desperate for your milk to dry up completely, your doctor can prescribe a tablet that makes your milk supply dry up. Most doctors prefer you to try naturally, as the drug can make you feel unwell and can give you a headache, and you cannot put your baby back to the breast once you've taken it, if you change your mind. Watch out for the symptoms of mastitis, as this is a high risk time. The symptoms are elevated temperature, feeling achy, and later symptoms are hard red areas on your breast. If this occurs, see your doctor. Well, supposing baby will not take the bottle, which is actually quite common. If your baby is over one, distract and offer something to eat or drink instead, or milk in a sippy cup. It is recommended that babies over one should no longer have the bottle, as it can lead to tooth decay if they have one at night. Ear infections are more common in babies still having the bottle. With older babies, who can help themselves to the breast and may fuss and cry if denied it, distract with an activity or food. Don't sit in the normal breastfeeding places and wear clothing that makes your breasts less accessible. Babies are more likely to take a bottle if they are hungry and if someone other than mum offers it. If baby is over six months, they may be more likely to take it if offered in a sippy cup. Don't worry if baby refuses initially. Eventually self-preservation kicks in and baby will take the bottle, particularly when mum is not around and there is no alternative. Offer the bottle for around 20 minutes and if baby is still refusing, wait until the next feed in three to four hours. You can try getting baby to suck on a dummy and then substitute the bottle or do the same with your breast. Babies need to be offered a bottle regularly, that is every day from about eight weeks to ensure that they will always take it. But do not offer the bottle before then as it can make babies fussy on the breast. Offering once early on does not guarantee that baby will take the bottle when older. There are a lot of bottles on the market which are sold as being like the breast. This is marketing. 
in my experience of over 30 years, what works is persistence and baby not having an alternative. Babies imprint in the first two weeks on how to suck and sucking from the bottle requires a tight mouth and sucking with your cheeks, while the breast requires a wide mouth and milking the breast with one's jaw, which is why when babies get used to one way, it can be hard for them to change. Good luck with your baby and our next video will be an update for grandparents. If your parents are driving you crazy by saying, in our day we never did that and you're fine, we will be including all the reasons why practices have changed. Hope to see you then. If you found any of this information useful, please like and subscribe.